Okay, so for today's video, I'm going to be telling you the story about Code on the Rooftop. So as you, for those who don't know, so you probably noticed lately my, my, my most, my more recent video, not most recent video, but more recent video I, was one I did of a poem called Cursed Girl. However, just before I uploaded Cursed Girl, I did another poem way back called Code on the Rooftop. And Code on the Rooftop, in fact, that one, was actually originally going to be a song, but the problem is, if you remember Bump and Splash, there's proof that I'm a, while I'm a good lyricist, I'm a terrible composer, and an even worse vocalist. Like my, my singing is terrible, but that's not important. So that I decided to instead make it into a poem. And what is Code on the Rooftop? Well, it's a story about a guy who meets a depressed girl on the rooftop and then keeps meeting her until the day he doesn't, and then she just can't handle it because in movies like that, girls are, you know, dependent. So, in that, because I want, and the reason why I had a coat, because it's actually a long story, because originally I was going to name, I was, I was originally going to name the, the book, I mean, not the book, the poem, Shoes on the Rooftop, in a reference to the, in, in, in a reference to the, um, uh, what's it called, a Japanese myth, where after a girl just unalives herself, she chucks into the, she takes off her shoes so she doesn't track mud into the afterlife, as you can see here. Lots of people do that in the Japanese world, but here's the thing. I'm not Japanese, and you, you might be, because I don't know who's watching this, but there is a chance, I highly doubt many of my viewers are Japanese. So I decided to chop that idea, and change it to coat on the rooftop. Why did I change it to coat on the rooftop? Well, I already explained why I changed it to, to coat on the rooftop. But why did I choose a coat? I'll tell you why. Because I, that's, it's the only one word, it's the only one syllable clothing item I could think of that would make sense in that context. Like pants on the rooftop, no one would take off their pants. Hair on the rooftop, I doubt she would go bald. Belt on the rooftop, that's ridiculous. Like you see, so, and I, and I didn't want it to be any more than one syllable because I already had shoes on the rooftop and I didn't want to, I didn't want to screw it up a bunch just to add one, just to add, just, just because of a couple of syllables. That's crazy. And in fact, in addition to Code on the Rooftop, I actually made three songs in that Coat series, I meant poems, Code on the Rooftop, The Coat of Love, and Leave It On Today with it being the coat. I, I've written all three of them, but I've only read one of them to you. In fact, I might re read you the other two in the future if that video gets good views. But if it doesn't, then that's really, truly sorry. However, mostly the song was based off of those happy-sounding songs about Unaliable, such as My R by Splendid Rachi, or what other ones were like that? Uh, Bullet by Hollywood Undead, Jump by Van Halen, and my personal favorite... It's over by Rucker Rucker Ali. However, the thing is, most of those weren't really successful. And also, that's how I got in front of Cardigans. And that's pretty much all I can say about that one. I really hope you enjoyed my, my little spiel. And I'll tell you about another one later. Bye.